Hi there, welcome to my channel and today I will show you how to crochet simple and stylish hat with simple pattern. For work you need a ball of yarn. All additional information about the tools could be found in the description of this video tutorial. 4.5 mm crochet hook. Let's get started crocheting. I will begin from the brim part of the head. Let's crochet the brim part. Make a chain of four. Three of them are for the chains to bring up the yarn. Let's count one, two, three. I'm going to work with double crochet on the chain. Insert the hook into the first stitch. Pull up a loop, pull through first loop. Then pull through two loops twice to finish my double crochet like this. Let's look at my double crochet on the chain. I insert the hook into the chain stitch. I insert the hook into two loops. You can work with one loop. I'm working with two loops and let's make double crochet on the chain. Pull up a loop, pull through first loop and pull through two loops twice. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the chain. Insert the hook into two loops. Make a chain and then double crochet. Let's repeat one more time. Insert the hook into two loops, pull up a loop, pull through first loop, pull through two loops twice. Here what I have at this point. Let's look at my first round. It is very beautiful. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. I have done amazing lace tape. In total it should be 80 double crochet on the chain. I have done 79 plus three chains instead of first double crochet on the chain and now i show you how to join my row to create a round and while making the last stitch i show you how to join yarn over the hook before the joining I will check my lace tape it shouldn't be twisted insert the hook into two loops pull up a loop pull through first loop I take the second edge Insert the hook into the first stitch. Pull through two loops like this. And pull through two loops twice to finish my double crochet. Let's stop and look what I have done. Insert the hook into the third stitch. Make a slip stitch. So my round is ready. In total it should be 80 double crochet on the chain. 
let's stop at this point. And now I show you my ready project. It's usually my head consists of three parts. Brim part, the main part and the crown. For the brim part I will use one by one rib. Pattern consists of two stitches and has one round. For the main pattern, I will use another kind of pattern. Pattern consists of only one stitch and has one row. Let's look at the crown. Looks very simple. For this hat, I chose double sided pattern so you can use any side. Let's look at the reverse side. Looks very unusual and simple in the same time. I remind you all additional information about the tools could be found in the description of each video tutorial. Let's look at the crown. If you would like to make some decoration for the head, you can find a lot of links in the description of this video tutorial. Please join me and I continue working on my head. I remind you, I started from the brim part. Next step will be continue working on the brim part. And now I show you how to crochet one by one rib. Make back post single crochet. Chain of two to bring up the yarn. So I did back post single crochet plus two chains instead of first stitch. Make front post double crochet around the next stitch. Make back post double crochet. Front post double crochet. Back post double crochet. Front post double crochet. Here what I have at this point. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. After I have done front post double crochet. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch. Make a slip stitch. My round is ready. Let's crochet the next round. Pattern consists of two stitches and has one round. So let's repeat this round together. Back post single crochet, chain of two to bring up the yarn, yarn over the hook. Make front post around the front post and back post around the back post double crochet. Like this. Continue working in this way till the end of the round and make as many rounds as you need for your head. You should complete each round into the second chain stitch. On the beginning of this round. So that's it, my brain part is ready. This is the first step of the head. Let's measure it. This is the six centimeters. For me, it's enough, so I continue working with the main part of the head. This is the body part or straight part. Pattern consists of one stitch and has one round. 
I will make increase in this round. Chain of two. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the same stitch. Then pull through the loop and pull through two loops. I did single crochet on the chain with yarn over. Let's repeat one more time. Insert the hook into the chain stitch, pull through first loop, then pull through the chain and pull through two loops. So my next stitch is ready. Let's stop and look at this point. So I did single crochet on the chain with yarn over at the beginning. Let's repeat one more time. Insert the hook through the next stitch, pull through first loop, pull through the next loop, pull through two loops. Like this. So as you can see, this is not difficult to make. I will add eight stitches in this round. Or eight stitches. As you remember, I have done 80 stitches so it means I will add into the each of 10 stitch. I did double crochet twice into the each of 10 stitch. I have done three of them. This is for transition. I will not use in my pattern. Three, four, five, six, seven. eight, nine, and ten. So I'm making the first one and the second one into the same stitch. So I did two stitches increase. Let's repeat one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine and ten if you would like to make increase more stitches so you should count your stitches continue working this way till the end of this round like this then i will show you how to complete this round together let's complete round one after I have done two stitches in one, I skip two stitches, insert the hook into the first stitch, make a slip stitch. My round is ready. I repeat one more time that I added eight stitches. It means I did stitches twice into the each of 10 stitch let's crochet the next round let's look at my increase or here you can add more or less it depends on your project I continue working on my head. Chain of two. 
Insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull through first loop, pull through the next loop, and pull through two loops. Continue one, two, three, and so on. Pattern consists of one round and has one stitch. It is not difficult to make. Four, five. So you should crochet as many rounds as you need for your head. You should finish the each round into the first stitch of each round. Before you should skip two chains. So continue working with your own. Let's stop and look at my work. I almost done my main part. It could be perfect for any project. So as usual, let's measure my head. At this point, I have done the brim part and the main part. So let's measure both of them. It is 20 centimeters. The width is 20. I measure the main part. This is 32 centimeters. And at this stage, I'm going to crochet the crown. Let's crochet it. Let's crochet the first round of the crown. It is going to be a round of degrees. Make chain of two. Yarn over the hook. Make two stitches in the round. So here what I have. Make two stitches together. I do not finish the first stitch. I do not finish the second one. And pull through all loops on the hook. Make two stitches in a round. Make two stitches together, as I did here. Let's repeat one more time. Yarn over the hook, pull up a loop, pull through first loop, then the second loop. I do not finish this stitch. Make the second stitch not finished and pull through loops on the hook. Make two stitches in a round. One, two, make degrees. Make the first one, make the second one. And pull through loops on the hook. Keep working in this way till the end. Of this round. Let's complete this round together. It was round one of the crown. Insert the hook into the first stitch. Make a slip stitch. My round one is done. I remind you I did degreases in the this first round of the crown. You can see them. Let's crochet round two. In total, it should be six rounds of the crown. Let's crochet the second one. Chain of two. 
I will begin and you will continue with your own. Let's crochet one, two, then make two stitches together. First one, the second one, and pull through all loops on the hook. Two stitches in round one, two, and two stitches together. First one and the second one. And pull through all loops on the hook. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. In total, it should be six rounds with decreases one two and you should crochet four more with your own i have done six rounds of decreases let's stop and look here what i have at this point i have got small hole and now i show you how to complete my crown and how you can remove this hole let's complete this head together i'm going to work with three stitches together as you remember i have done six rounds with the greases as i did before chain two to bring up the yarn yarn over the hook insert the hook into the stitch pull through first loop then pull through the second loop yarn over the hook insert the hook into the stitch pull through first loop pull through the second loop yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch pull through pull through and I have got four loops on the hook, pull through all loops on the hook. Let's repeat one more time. Make the first one, not finish, make the second one. Make the third one. And pull through all loops on the hook. Keep working in this way till the end of the sound. I have done all my stitches. I did three stitches together. I skip chain stitches. Insert the hook into the top. Make a slip stitch. I stop at this stage. I have already cut off the yarn and I turn it to the back side because I need to remove the hole and the yarn. This is the reverse side of the head. You can remove this hole using sewing needle or crochet hook. I am using the sewing needle. With a needle, go through the stitches like this. With a needle, go through the stitches. With a needle, go through the stitches. Pull a little bit. I make it one more round to secure the yarn. With the needle go through the stitches. And you should remove the yarn along the stitches. So my project is almost ready.
This is the reverse side of the head. This is double sided head because my pattern has two sides. So it doesn't matter what side could be used in your cases. This is the front side and this is the second side. So my head consists of three parts, brain part, the main or body part and of course the crown. You just need to choose how you can wear this kind of hat. So turn it to the front side. It is very easy to make and stylish in the same time. So that's it. My project is ready. I remind you, I am working in rounds. And the main pattern consists of only one round and has one stitch. Let's measure my head. The width is 24 centimeters. It is a little bit stretchy. Let's measure my body part. It is 32 centimeters. And let's measure the height. It is 29 centimeters. So my slouchy hat is ready. And don't forget to write comment below this video what you will get with me and where you will use it. Let's look at the crown. And now I show you how my hat looks like on the mannequin. Here this is the first variation or first option how you can wear it. Like a slouchy head. Also you can create a decoration for this head such as flower or scarf or another accessories. For this please visit my YouTube channel. There are a lot of ideas for decoration. Let's look at the crown. So for this head I used two patterns. One of them is for the brim part. And another one is for body part of the head. For this project you can use your favorite color of yarn and your favorite crochet hook. And let's look at the second option how you can wear it. You can wear it like a bird. It depends on the style that you choose in daily life, so you can wear in both options. See you in the next video tutorials. And I remind you all additional information about the tools could be found in the description of each video tutorial. Good luck and crocheting and see you next time. Bye!